Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on Roland Zambit and how to create sidechain using Drumbo. As you probably know, at today date there isn't a sidechain option in Compressor if you're using just the uh, Roland Zambit. So one way to achieve that is to use Drumbo. So I just loaded the uh, Zambit, let's click on the new song. We are in the drum editor, let's create um, for uh, um, steps to um, <clears throat> trigger the kick 26 drum your kick drum and let's play so nothing really fancy just a uh, uh, first step for our measure uh, let's exit that here we are in the loop builder so we have that loop created for the drum now let's add the track click on the plus sign then on instrument track now, for the purposes uh, the f of this uh, video, I'm going to give you two examples. The first one is to create a sign chain inside Drumbo, therefore using uh, Drumbo as a synth as well. So let's load Drumbo as a AU. Here we are. Again, if we click play, we'll hear just the uh, drum. And let's go to the mixer as well and decrease a little bit the volume overall on the master let's try again better now let's double click here on the loop for the, the drum track okay so we have the piano roll let's click with the arrow here we click paint so we can we're going to paint some notes so let's paint a c up to that and also a g like so Again, if I press play, you will not hear that synth because uh, MIDI notes are going to Drumbo and inside Drumbo, let's expand here the setting of the track. Here you see the plugins Drumbo. If we click on Drumbo, they come through <clears throat> track number one, but there is nothing here that drives the sound. So let's click on the plus sign. First add under processor um, an amplitude envelope ADSR. And then uh, let's click on the header and move slightly to the right. Let's go to the generator and click on oscillator super so. Um, if you have trouble following uh, the tutorial on Drumbo, just look at other Drumbo tutorials on my Sound for More channel. So now if I click play, you will hear, of course, the, um, the synth being played. And now it's a little bit of master there. Okay, so what's happening here is that the uh, loop builder here in this loop, we have two nodes which are sending MIDI messages directly to Drumbo. Those comes onto the first track that are converted into CV and then go onto the, the this oscillator, which has also an amplitude envelope uh, associated to it. Okay, perfect. Now what we want to do is to do a sidechain of this synth inside Drumbo uh, driven by the drum on the first track. So to do that, let's click and activate the first track, the drum track. Let's click on MIDI here. Let's click on the advanced MIDI and let's select as output track Drumbo as an AU. So the MIDI messages will go instead of track number one drums, they will go directly to track number two. And also let's set that the MIDI output channel go on channel number two. And I will explain that in a moment. If I click play now. So what will happen is that um, uh, Drumbo will receive messages from the piano roll editor here from the loop on the second track but also from the first one that is why you keep hearing a mixture of the two sounds now with uh, the second track activated and let's go to drumbo <clears throat> now let's click on uh, the first track here and let's click on the header here on the blue one and now let's scroll down until it says midi let's set the midi channel to receive only from channel number one and also let's set uh, the track to receive always MIDI messages. Now let's play. Okay what's happening is that you just hear back again the synth which is playing the notes from the second track. Now 
you might ask what happened to uh, the drum track and the MIDI message you received from that track. Well, let's activate the second track here in Drumbo. Let's go on the header here again. Let's scroll down to MIDI. Let's set this track to receive from MIDI channel 2 and to always receive MIDI messages, not only when it is active. Now, if this is set up correctly, we should be able to receive MIDI messages on track number two. But how do we show that? Well, let's click on the plus sign, let's go to MIDI, and let's select the monitor. So if I click play, now you will see MIDI messages on the monitor, which are coming from the drum track. As you can see, they are in there. Okay, so, but we want to really do side chain. So let's click on the plus sign on the processor, Let's scroll down and let's select Compressor. Now the Compressor will take the input from the Truck input, which is OK, and the sidechain will be driven by the MIDI to CV um, uh, signal event. Now uh, let's adjust the threshold to be uh, quite low, so it will trigger straight away. We adjust a little bit the attack and also the release. You can do that at your leisure, your taste, and also the ratio like that. Let's click play. You can see that uh, uh, the sidechain is driven by the um, by the gate signals uh, from the MIDI to CV uh, module or rack. Again, we are still not hearing the effect of the compressor, and the reason is that the, there is no sound going on track number two. Okay, how to solve that? We click on track number one. We go to the header again we uh, scroll up under audio and where it says audio to one instead of going to master we go to number two which is the second track now let's go to the second track and click play as you can hear you have sidechain now created um, on top of the first synth on track number one now Let's exit that and let's double click on the first track. And if this works, I should be able to add other events like that. And here the corresponding sidechain on track number two. Perfect. So this is one way to actually apply sidechain using um, effectively uh, a drum inside the Roland Zen beat, which is driving the sidechain of Drumbo, <clears throat> which is on the second track here, and which is um, side-chaining and compressing uh, the first track here. Okay, that's one way. I'm going to show you another example now. Let's go to the menu, click Home, click OK to lose the changes, and click on the new song again. Let's exit the drum editor. Let's click and hold on the track, and let's delete the drum track. Now let's add an instrument track, and this time let's go to all plugins and Zen bits and then let's load Electrosynth. Let's choose a preset, so for example, uh, a double saw. Okay, and let's uh, close that on the X, let's double click on uh, uh, the loop and let's click on the arrow and paint and let's paint two notes as we have done before, like so. Perfect. Let's click play. Okay, let's adjust the, a little bit the volume on the master again. Perfect. Now let's uh, expand the setting of the track and let's add an audio effect. And again, let's scroll down. And until we see Drumbo effects, not the multi effects, just the first one. Click plus sign and this load Drumbo. Now, if we click play, you will still hear the same two notes, which are coming from Electrosynth. Now, what we can do is click on the plus sign, go on the processor, <coughs> select compressor, and we get loaded the compressor. We set up the side chain to be driven by the gate signal from the MIDI to CV rack. We do some adjustment on the threshold, on the ratio as well. Again, at your leisure, as you prefer. Now, if we click play, and uh, you will hear still the same two notes. 
because there are no MIDI signals which are entering uh, the uh, this track, the main track. Now, how to solve that? Well, this is an effect, so it was not going to receive MIDI um, signal. But what you can do is add MIDI event on uh, on the step editor, so like so. So let's try. <laughs> So really good, let's do something different like that, to see the effect. Okay, so this will almost simulate your drum track, okay? And this of course will work, you can continue your work, so for example, you can uh, add additional notes and it will keep repeating in uh, the same fashion in terms of compressor, like so. So uh, let's have two notes, extend the loop and let's try. Okay, so we have seen two examples. The first example was about how to drive side chain compression inside Drumbo from a drum track, which is Roland's and bit with Drumbo hosted as a audio unit uh, plugin inside an instrument track and uh, I used also Drumbo as an instrument, as a synth. The second example, instead we use Electro Synth as uh, an instrument, again inside the Roland Zen bit, but we have added Drumbo uh, as an effect and we have created inside Drumbo then uh, um, the compressor with side the chain, with the side chain enabled and we have added uh, the step like so to create that side chain effect. Okay, I hope you found this useful. See you next time. Bye.